Okay. Welcome to another Hoi 4 achievement tutorial. I actually have to record this a second time because I had completely... I'm, I'm going to talk about this for a little bit. Uh, so I had actually done this yesterday. Trying to do this achievement. Well, I actually completed the achievement. Like, recorded it and everything. But as I was about to finish recording, before I could stop recording, and before I could do the outro, I... The power went out in, in my area, and that caused my recording to corrupt. So here I am again, doing this achievement a second time. But yeah, so for today we're going to be doing the achievement Blitzkrieg as Britain. So what that means is that with Edward VIII as our leader, we need to own and control France. Or more specifically, Ile de France. I'm going to pronounce that right the first time now. I called it Isle de France, but it's not Isle, it's Ile. Let's unite our entire navy up over home fleet. We're going to build sieves in our 80s and 90s areas. I just realized the music's on. That's horrible. Whatever. Sorry about that. Those up. Uh, everything on infantry equipment, artillery, and support equipment. And we're going to get rid of tanks. We're not going to be using them. And we're going to switch our interwar bomber to close air support. And we'll just put three on each of them. Won't really need any more than that. We're going to unite our entire air force in southern England. And we're going to start the game. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take all the cavalry. I can select them all. There we go. All the cavalry. And all of the colonial divisions. Oh, whoops. I made a mistake. The cavalry is supposed to be here. But... Okay, so we're going to have 16 of these guys, which we're going to put on coastal defense. Or, well, it's just port defense, but putting them on all the coasts, regardless if it's port or not. And we shall assign Bod Ockenbleck. Ockenbleck? Ockenleck. Whoops. Bod Ockenleck will be our general for that. We will put on Gerald Alexander as our general for our main assault army and we will be converting every single one of these guys not to the motorized to the infantry division okay so here's this so we're going to, we're just going to deploy all the ships that we have in production so far okay so our entire infantry army is here so we're going to train them and our garrison army is not all there yet i'm just going to train them we're just going to be training these guys for a bit and it looks like our focus is finished, so now what we're going to do is go we're going to go and grab a limited rearmament. Alright, so we have 100 political power. I'm actually a little bit past that because I kind of zoned out, but we're going to be spending them on these. Just to get that early research. Alright, limited rearmament is finished. We shall now go for the reinforce the empire. It's finished, so we'll do concentrated industry. By the way, the kind of exercise we have on our divisions are a general exercise. They're not up to regular. So that it'll just keep training them regardless of what tier they are. We're doing this to build XP because Paradox removed the one XP, one division XP trick, which, I mean, that ruins some of my strategies, but yeah, there's nothing good about it. Eh. Almost 20% research at the, like at the very beginning. That's kind of insane. Britain's so good. Alright, so here's the event we've been waiting for, which is Edward VIII, Abdication Crisis. We're going to insist on a royal move. Something I usually did in my strategy was I would add an extra battalion and infantry onto this. I'm not going to do that this time. It would change, it'll slow my XP grind over time, but I do keep the extra 5 that I gained from the beginning. So I think it's more worth it to keep the 5 than it is to add an extra battalion to the grind. Ooh. Winning formula. Our mechanical computing's finished. Now we, what we will do is we grab our submarine 2s. Oh, that's a new portrait. Okay. Oh, another winning formula. I will set a date. 
Whoa, three in a row? Also, don't spend any of the political power. This, we need to hold on to that for later. <laughs> We're going to lose all of it if we don't uh, hold it. I feel like this... I don't know if it'd be overpowered, but I feel like this focus should give you at least, like, 10 or 25 army XP. Ooh, yes. Oh, we're getting all the good, all the good events. Means I'm just gonna get a barrage of bad ones later. <laughs> Alright, service overseas is finished. Let's get the even better one, which is encouraged Colonial Elite, which gives us 7% more research. <laughs> like we needed more. We're gonna have 29 research. That's insane. Ideally, we want to have it 25 uh, XP for the Marines. Alright, we'll get uh, Concentrate Industry 2. And the cabinet resigns. That is early? A little bit. A little bit. I got around the 80s last time. That's unfortunate. We'll just leave these to the last day. So that one is the newspaper as opposed to marriage. So we're going to hold these events for as long as we can. So that one has one day, we'll choose that. And we'll wait till the last day for this one. Okay. The reason why I'm holding the events, because the, the less uh, the more I hold it, the less time I have to experience the negative effects of those events, like the ability drop and stuff like that. And we just have to wait for the colonies to uh, um to seed. Which will remove the rest of our political power. Direction one and grab reward. Actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna grab the fighter one. I'll grab that instead. It sucks, but we'll leave it. This one we don't have to click, but yeah. So we'll I'll, I'll just leave it and let it activate on its own. It's it's a single option event. I'd have to look at the code for the ones that give you two, because I don't know which one is prioritized if you leave it. So answering. Okay, so we're not going to choose any more focuses because there's 40 days left. So we and we want to have, we want to be ready for that for when that um when the king's party is elected. Well, the king is coronated. And there's dominions break from the crown. We're going to hold that one in lo as long as we can because that is a really shitty event to have. I need to experiment a bit with this because I feel like. I want to see if we do Commonwealth ties, would the Dominion still break? Because if they don't, that might be good for us. Well, that might be good. I'll, I'll look into it. Like, is there a way to keep them from breaking? Oh, I'm only losing two. Australia and oh, never mind. They only said mm, whatever. Ends broke from the crown. Yep. Alright, so now we only have 20 days left. We may get one or two more events between this period. And maybe one. Hopefully it's not a negative one. Good one. And it's a negative one. This is ready. So hold it down. There we go. Alright, now we have our submarine twos. We're going to upgrade them to have best equipment. Vertical names. And we're just going to deploy. We have 44, that means we need 36 more. Yeah, 36. Alright, so we have our last five, so we're going to add the artillery on, and we're going to stop training. Put our infantry over in Ireland, and we're going to start training our marines over in... Alright, we are now Great Britain, and Edward VIII is our new leader, so we shall get to God Save the King. And immediately, I'm going to grab the old figurehead for more, even more political power. All right, so now we're going to grab the improved machine tools. I'm going to grab then interwar artillery. For garrison. Initiative. Where's the resi oh, it's not enough manpower to well, we'll prioritize garrisons. Alright, so now we have 50 political power. I actually should have done this a bit earlier, but we're going to justify it. It's already 36 on Romania. But it shouldn't make too much difference for me being a little late. 
Alright, God Save the King is finished. Now we're going to grab consolidate the British Isles. Actually, I'm going to divide this into two so I can get them out a bit quicker. So half of 36, the 18. So we'll do 18. And next week we'll grab the improved infantry equipment one. Yeah, one thing I want to add is it's two factors in that one. So now we will grab the competing machine. Okay, next we will grab the uh, Lewis Mark III. I'm going to complete, I'm going to quick deploy those Marines. I'm going to promote Alan Cunningham for our field marshal. Give him everything he needs. Defensive organization charismatic. He'll be added to his to his uh, field marshal and add Al's Dempsey for general. And we'll get a needle invasion to Dia. So, so all the Debris Isles is finished. Now we'll do reassess con continental commitments and declare war on Ireland. Oh, no, we don't want to we don't want to attack. That way we want to use this to grant XP. So how much time do we have before Romania is finished? Around 90 days, so what we'll do to grind this is we'll do one division, one division. And let's can't get partial mobilization just yet. I wanted that, but next we'll get I think I'll get Oswald Mosley then. We don't want to be winning too like too quickly. We want to grind them for XP as much as we can. There we go. Like doing this, we're managing it with like one division and barely winning. We want to have this so we can get as much XP as we can. All right, so we have 10 XP. What we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our Marines to have port artillery on it. And I should fix this earlier, but there we go. Royal Marines, and it's on highest priority. All right, so we have 10 XP again. We're going to add on to our Marines the... Uh, I'm going to the motorized recon, but we'll do that one. We'll have motorized soon. Oh, and our Doctrine is finished, so we'll do the next one, which is Grand Assault. This is finished. Now we'll go back over here. We'll do General Rearmament. You know, I got the wrong one. I'll do Shadow Scheme. Technically, now we could just do it all over across the front push. I just think this is what I'm gonna do. Just finish them off now. There we go. We got the 10% anyway. So, on top of that, we'll put the engineer, and that's our marine division. Yeah, we're missing some motorized, but it's fine. All right. So now they're that's finished. Need to quick deploy these guys. So they're ready. Having them low on having them green should be a problem. I'm going to grab the infantry expert now because instead of the I would have liked to grab the other one, but it's we can't. <clears throat> you don't have enough uh I wanna have this infantry expert by the for going to war with uh, with France. Go there. So we couldn't get all of our submarines out just yet. Put them into the area. And give them hardwood. And we will add 80 on top of that. I kind of wish, one thing I wish was that if you had requested 80 and then you divided them, it didn't do this, where it's 53 there. I wish it was... It both I wanted 40. And then this is like, well, one want 20, you know? I kind of wish it did. It kind of splits it, but it doesn't do it. On low risk engagement, and we'll just protect the British Isles. Alright, so our planes are ready. So we'll put them over in an air support. And we will now declare war on Romania. Which we'll call France in. Yep. Czechoslovakia. 
Invasion is a go. Oh. Two there, you here. And we'll put our entire army to go here and... that oh, Italian operative capture <laughs> silly Italians I didn't even need eight I didn't even need an agency to capture you. And our divisions just get into position tap off his plan bring our Marines back to well actually bring this guy which one's better that's the better one so I'll put him here This plan will allow us to get a good kind of bonus. They're attacking us, which isn't good for them because now I can just sit here and grind off them. A full planning bonus. We them to stop attacking us across all of them. There we go. And just go. And yeah, our divisions are easily able to beat them. Do we want to go up here and take Calais and Dunkirk? Oh, and our focus is finished. I'm not paying attention. Let's grab the industrial effort. Some mills, so we'll get on. Inch our core equipment. Look, I dive art bomber production because it's kind of cheese. I feel like it should only like, give you the options of which stuff you're already building, but. Attack there. Pin them there. And they still moved anyway. <laughs> okay, France is dead. Cool. So, one thing I did last time in my in my video was I puppeted Ossetania, or Ossetania, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. Down here, I just I just puppeted them. It was a little strange the borders they had, but I think I'm just gonna do do what I did in my first run, which is annex everything except this part of France. We're just going to. I ideally, annexing all of France is what you want to do because then Germany cannot come after you. If, if you have a puppet France, then Germany will get a war goal against you. But you could also join the Axis, so that would just eliminate altogether. So, or you could just get a um, a non-aggression pack because you're going to see if we can use it. So that and, uh, just... or you could just liberate to Ostania, but I don't want to do that. Puppet France there, get their navy. We have Bourbon, France. This should be the achievement. And that was it. <laughs> Hold on. Did that? Yep, now, there we go. Faction of your name here. <laughs> there. Now we could take our divisions over to Yugoslavia. So it was just world tension that was missing there. Bring them over, and now we could take out Romania. Look at little Czechoslovakia. Oh, out of it. There you go. <laughs> Bohemia, little Bohemia, little Hemia. Can I get here in time? <laughs> doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. All right, but I, that's the um, that's the achievement. So, well, that was the achievement a while ago. I mean, that's where you can, how you can then take out Romania and Czechoslovakia if you want to. You can take about Czechoslovakia out your own. You don't have to invite Germany in. Then you can, you know, do what you do what you wish. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe you found this helpful in some way, and I'll see you guys in the next one.